Hello everyone, James Breen here again with uh, EFI. I uh, wanted to uh, bring to you a video that shows one of our new um, features that you can get for free when you upgrade to Command Workstation 6.4. So uh, the feature I'm talking about is Freeform Create. Um, we've always had Freeform as a simple way for customers to be able to do variable and it works fine. Um, but Freeform was more of a, um, an overlay feature where you had to create your image and then you had to create a separate document that represented your data and then you had to rip the image as a uh, master and then use the master against the overlay image. And it worked fine, but you know it was a lot of pre-press work and it was a lot of steps. So um, we created Freeform Create. Uh, to eliminate those steps and to make it more user-friendly, more graphical. And we are now including the ability to even skip that step altogether if you've created a data file that's a CSV or a Excel that represents your data. You can um, use it like a normal variable data program software like Fusion Pro, XMPy, Engage at VDP, uh, Planet Press. However, I would point out that this product is not intended to replace those. Those uh, products do a lot more than what our Freeform Create will do. But I'm going to demonstrate for you some of the simple things that customers can use it for that some people might consider complex and they would need a variable data software program to do it with. Hopefully I'm going to demonstrate for you um, in Freeform Create where you don't need it. So the example I'm going to use is this ticket right here. I created this ticket and I want these tickets to um, you know, swap out data based on the uniqueness of each ticket and uh, represent it by all of these categories. So I created this PDF and then I just created an Excel file that has these columns that represents the data that I want to use to fill this with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to my, my virtual here and I'm going to launch um, Freeform Create which is right here and, and actually I'm going, to, I'm going to close this so you can see it. So I just go into my freeform create which again is part of the command workstation 6.4 install um, it comes up is an option that you can install and when you install it it's a free running app free standing application that runs from the desktop so when I launch it um, it'll show me recent documents that I've worked on which I could start from a recent document um, if you go not to this download freeform uh, kit uh, inside that kit are sample files that you could use for demonstration purposes. If you're demonstrating this to someone you know, on a pre-sale, um, or you can create your own. So up here under create, we have two categories, file merge documents, and treat that just as the old free form. It's still the master, ripping the master and using the master against another file. The difference is it's more of a graphical interface. When I click on this, It'll let me pull both documents. I can see them. I can move them around. I can check the order, and then I can say, great, send it to the Fiery. And I can skip that step of saying, send it as a master, and then use it as a master. It does that behind the scenes. So that one will speak to itself. The one that's the variable data document, that's the one I really want to focus on. So I'm going to click that that's what I'm doing here. It's going to ask me to choose a master. And I'm going to go out and choose my PDF. And that's the one I want to use. It's going to bring it in, give me a preview. And I can say, yep, that's it. Then it's going to say, well, what's your source data file? I'm going to use this ticket data. And it's going to import in all the rows that I have in my Excel uh, document. I have four rows. Now, if I wasn't using some of these rows, for whatever reason, I could deselect them. And it won't import those in. Right? But I am using all these rows. Then I say create. So it's going to create the document for me. <clears throat> there it is. And I'm going to change my view just a little bit to make this easier to work with. There we go. And then over here is my, my text fields. So I just start dragging these into the location where I need them. I need a ticket number to be there. I'm going to shorten this a little bit. I'm also going to change the font size. And then I'm going to move this to the location where I want it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. 
for this ticket number. Same deal, I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. Now, a little quick trick is I need to, I made make this at 90 degrees so it's laying the direction that I want it so I can put it right here, okay? So I got my ticket number, now I just start over here, section, again, I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees, I'm gonna put that here. Uh, then we need row. And I always just drag this into a more workable area before I do my rotate and move. Just make it easy on yourself. And then the last one is the seat. And then again, I'm going to move that to 90 degrees. I don't know if you guys noticed, this, the first time I changed the font, it saved that for everything that I selected. But I could select these individually and change them and make them different font sizes. But I'm going to leave them the way they are. All right, so the next thing you got to do once you get all your variable in is you just say save. And then, uh, you know, create this PDF. Give it a name. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm working on a virtual here, so it might be running slightly slower than normal. There's my file. I'm going to call it uh, ticket file. And I've already got one called ticket file, so I'll just overwrite it. Yes, okay. So the next thing that happens is if, once it's done, I can say send to the fiery. And you can have a, 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 a assortment of fireys listed here. You see, I've already got two listed here. So I can click new, put in the IP address of the fiery I want to connect to, log in as admin and whatever the password is, and then I can connect to that fiery and send it there. Um, caveat is you need to have the password enabled on the fiery even if you're not using a password, otherwise we will not be able to connect to it. All right, so I'm gonna click this one. This is the Fiery controller that I'm using. <clears throat> now once it logs in and sends it, um, it'll pop up asking you how you wanna process it just like you're used to. Do you wanna process and hold? Do you wanna print it? Do you just wanna put it in the hold queue? If you have presets that um, can be used against this job, which we don't have right now, but if I had presets, I could select the presets to use instead of having to go through um, and do it. So here's my presets. Our purpose is we're just gonna do hold, all right? So once that is done, it will pop into the queue here. And then, oh boy, it's gonna be hard for me to get to my, I gotta get rid of this thing, there we go. All right, there we are. All right, so it's actually still processing it, um, but I have one that I did earlier, so for time's sake, I'm just going to click on this one. So that's how it's going to come in. It's called Ticket File FFC. That stands for Freeform Create. That's how you know that you've received the file from Freeform Create and it's ready to be used. So in this case, I want to impose this document because these are unique tickets with unique numbers, and I'm going to be printing these, and, and I want to print them in such an order that when I cut them on a guillotine, that the ticket number order is in stack order. So I don't know if you've ever done this before, but that is if you're using imposition and you're using variable, we detect that. And when you start laying this out, you'll see how it's identifying the record. So I'm going to say we're ganging up, but I'm going to do this cut stack. And then I'm also going to choose and I'm doing this on eight and a half by 11. I'm doing it portrait. And I think I can probably get maybe six up on this. Yeah, six. Okay. So if you start looking through here, I've got record one, page one, record four, page one, record seven, page one. What that means, if you look down here, I've got two of three sheets. It means I've got three sheets deep. That means I've got one, two, three over here, four, five, six over here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You see, you get the point. If I went to the next sheet, you would see those. All right, so if I go to sheet two, you'll see there's two, there's five, there's eight. 
That means they're stacked on top of each other. So when I cut them with a guillotine, the, the cut stack is in order, right? So this is good. Now I could, I'm not running a full version of Impose. I'm in trial mode, but I could save this as a template. And if I attach that template to a preset, when I'm in free form, I could pick that preset and it'll do this layout automatically ready to print. For our purposes, I'm just going to say close it. It's going to come up asking me if I want to hold, if I want to save this or not. There we go. Yes, I want it in the, the held queue. Okay, and now you'll see you've got the ticket file FFC, but you've got a DBP. So let's look at this. I'm going to do a process and hold. And let's then do a preview and see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. It's processed. If I click on preview, I click, did I click on the wrong file? I did click on the wrong file. <laughs> All right. I'm too fast. It's, you can see it's processing it right here. Okay, here we go. There we go, that's the one. All right, so now let's just preview this real quick. So you see we got three sheets. If I click on this, there's our ticket number. There's our ticket number. Section 101, my alignment's a little poor on here. A, seat one, seat four. Where's seat two and three? There's seat two. On the third page is seat three. That means when these are stacked on top of each other and you cut them, they're going to be in order. There's seat five. All right, so three and six. Then you can see if we go down through here, we, we switch to row B. And again, if we're on the first page, we're probably going to see uh, one here and we're going to see um, four over here. All right. So that's pretty cool. This thing's ready to print. And these tickets will come out in order, um, stack order, and then they can take it right to the guillotine and cut them, and then stack them up, and they've got all of their tickets in numerical order and seat order, everything that they had designed in the data file. So this was done all intuitively um, right through uh, Fiery Freeform Create, which is now free inside every Fiery uh, that's running Command Workstation 6.4. So I wanted to share with you guys, highly important uh, that we get the message out. Um, it makes selling a fire even easier than it has been before. Got any questions, you know how to get in touch with me. Thank you guys. Good selling.